They've just finished building it and testing it in the basin. She's about to be moved to the seaside and launched. But we're here to show her to you as an absolute preview. Cranky Sesantandue 62 Fly. It's been entirely designed by the studio of Christian Grande, international renowned designer. Naturally, with the collaboration of Centro Studi et Ricerche Cranky. There is a strong family feeling with the Setan Toto 78 and Sasanta Sete 67 flying bridge models, but she is 20.15 meters long and she has a vertical bow that characterizes the style and extends the hull. The color chosen for this first model is very original Aurora Grey. The hull has been designed by Aldo Cranky and has been optimized in collaboration with Volvo Penta for the dual propulsion IPS 1350, meaning two pod drives and two 1,000 horsepower diesel engines. She challenges her bigger sisters with similarly sized relaxation areas and absolute comfort. At the bow, a complete lounge area. The sofa for five people, a table and the sun deck with adjustable headrest. Around it are sound system controls, cup holders, removable lights and shade curtains on carbon poles. The cleats for the ropes and the steel tip are custom made. In the chain well there is also space for the fenders. The shape of the handrail that accompanies the whole gunwale is beautiful and modern. The beach area can be equipped as desired, for example, with beach umbrellas, seats, lights and a shower. Opening the hatch at the stern, we enter the garage. The hydraulic lift and the saddle allow the launching and hauling of the Tender Williams 285. On the port side of the hangar, there's space for the water toys. The swim ladder is revealed by lowering the platform. The other step ladder is inserted into the swim platform. Two symmetrical staircases give access to the cockpit that can be configured in two ways. In this case, we have a lounge with a coffee table, but it's also possible to have a dining area with tea and still table for six people. The mooring areas are very elegant and the third command station is under a hatch. The staircase to the fly is sumptuous. On the fly, you sit on the sun deck or on the sofa to take advantage of the extendable dining table, which becomes a coffee table when it descends. The dashboard is identical to the one on the main deck. Same instruments and controls and panels covered in automotive style. The seats are of a high standard and electrically adjustable. The carbon T-top with central slatted opening and awning extending aft is technological. The sun deck is complete with the table, next to it is the shower. The kitchen module hides under the teak top, the sink and the grill. In the base are the refrigerator, ice maker and waste collection supplies. The TV sticks out from the back of the cabinet. Exteriors and interiors are perfectly blended. Electric curtains uncover large windows that offer almost the same view from the inside as from the exterior walkways. This is the style called Amalfi, one of two layouts available. With the Positano version, some finishings change. For example, the ceiling is white lacquered and the flooring is traditional, is with traditional oak slats and not like this one with slats interspersed with a wench thread. And in the cabins, we find fabrics and carpets instead of wood. And then there is the cranky atelier to choose further customization. In the living room, the table is for six people and its round shape is echoed by the outline of the sofa. 
Fridge and oven are hidden to better integrate the kitchen with the rest of the furniture. Some of the furniture is teak, some lacquered and some embellished with real leather. The windshield is continuous with no centre brake and these pilot seats are also electrically adjustable. The master stateroom is located amidships, where we would all like it to be. A mirrored glass window, through which the walk-in closet can be glimpsed, visually expands the space. When you enter, the bed is not immediately visible, to give some privacy. Very nice and original are the bed rails. Along one bulwark is a chest of drawers, on the other a small sofa for reading. Headboard and TV are of teak finish to achieve a wavy effect. The bathroom has a double sink, all amenities and a separate shower. There is a VIP stateroom in the bow. The vanity precedes access to the sleeping area. The bed frame and bedside table are upholstered in leather. The other guest cabin has two separate bunks. There is the characteristic wavy teak headboard here as well, and then sound systems, TV and private bathroom, as in each cabin. At the stern, the cabin crew. La troveremo presto in navigazione per verificare oltre alle prestazioni. We will test her in navigation to verify not only the performance but also the effects provided by the many stabilization systems provided. The zero speed fins, the gyroscopic stabilizer and the interceptors that automatically control trim and heel. Tutti gli impianti di bordo, anche i sensori di apertura di oblò e portelloni. All onboard systems, porthole and hatch opening sensors, assisted mooring with cameras can be operated from the displays on the bridge clearly and intuitively. In short, everything that technology makes available, you can have on board the new cranky 62 fly.